And girl, see them diamonds on your neck, that's for keepsake Don't let them steal you wrong, see that for keepsake Yo, yo, early morning vibes, you already know, Papa Taylor, hey, what it be, what it do, what it dump, back at it again with another reaction, I'm out of town, so Mama Taylor's not available right now, but I just wanted to do this reaction because there's a lot going on with this, and it's a, it's an unfortunate situation, and I know everybody thinks that, um, it's a lot of flap going on with it, uh, but I'm going to react to, oh, John P. Key talks about suing Queen Naja at church. Uh, let's get into this reaction and see what's popping, y'all. John P. Key talks about Queen doing church. Boy, he just gave her a lot more publicity, though. I think it's the fans that's got this thing feuding though. I don't think it's Queen. I don't think it's him. I think the fans. I think the Like I said, uh, sometimes I think that the uh, the overwhelming of uh, camaraderie or support from your fans can sometimes um, hurt the matter, um, can blow it up, make it bigger than what it is. Um, I've listened to both songs. Um, there are similarities in, in both songs, but I like both songs. I think Queen is a very talented uh, individual. And will bounce back from this and continue to pursue her career as a singer. Uh, and um, Jumpy Key is a legend. So this is a powerful battle. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is this is nothing to take lightly. But, um, you know, as I said, as I said before, your fans can sometimes make things bigger than what they are, and they can harm you more than they can help you. And in this case, with the fans coming out being mean and saying so many harsh comments and coming for everybody, um, I think it just made the situation bigger and made John P. Key lash back out and uh, state his opinion. Um, so this is a letter to the fans of every influencer, every artist, you don't have to jump up and defend everything. Make sure that you 
know what you're talking about and what battle that you're getting in. So sometimes the fans can help and hurt. So in this case, the fans helped John P. Key because they brought the awareness to him of the song. And in this case, Queen's fans failed her by going too hard. They went too hard. You know, uh, they love her and they tried to uh, protect her. But in this case, they brought so much awareness to the likeness of the song. They blew it up so big uh, to the point where I feel that it... Um, brought the awareness to the similarity of the song and made it more more popular for people to uh, say, oh, wow, it does sound, oh, it does. And now you got people out here biased. They don't know if they with her or they're against her. Or they don't know if, they don't know what to do because they like both songs. To be honest with you, I like both songs. And I mean... It's anointing in the song, so only thing that I can say is keep pushing, keep doing what you're doing, things will work out, and let the haters be haters, the naysayers be naysayers, um, and this goes for both ends because it's two artists, two good artists, uh, well, John P. Key, you're a great artist, I can't. I can't take back from a legend who's done his thing in the game for years. And Queen's on her way up. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep making good music. You'll bounce back from this. And everything else will work out. Um, I will like to listen to the song again, though, to, to, to really, really get an understanding of it. Uh, this has been brought to not only my attention, but the world's attention. And it keeps fueling and fueling and fueling so I think at this point somebody has to make a statement and get this get this handled but production come on man production production A and R This game here you can't play with. You got to know your business. got to do your business. And you got to be on your is it. Because, boy, trust and believe. Somebody knew about this song. And knew that if this song blow up, it was going to be some is not E. And now it's some is not E. But at the end of the day, like I said before, it's a great song. I think she has a long, a long career ahead of her. So just keep pushing. Learn from it. Grow from it. And teach these folks that you are the artist who you are. And you're going to be all right. Shouts out to Queen on this video. Shouts out to John P. Key, man. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. It's just a reaction, my opinion, upon everything that I've seen. From all the videos and everything online, it's just a lot of flap about this situation. So I just wanted to speak on it myself and just say, in this business, you have to have all T's crossed and all I's dotted. People are laying in the grass waiting on you to F up. And as soon as you F up, they're going to rack up. They are praying for a situation like this. People are praying for your success to become the successor of your success. So at all times, all times, cross your T's and dot your I's. Because there's somebody trying to take you out. Ready to take you out. These folks need a check. And if you're going to give them a check, they gonna come get that check in his IE. Please believe it. Papa Taylor out, man. Gang.